so honored and thrilled to be receiving the Trailblazer Award uh, on a personal level because I um, think of my great-grandmother and my mother who both were leaders of Turtle and Hughes uh, and it's really a tribute to them and uh, how hard they've worked to build an organization that endures the test of time uh, and for my team at Turtle, it's great to be representing the company at NAED and uh, I'm certainly uh, humbled and appreciative of the award. I think one of the most important things a woman needs in this industry to be successful is confidence. Too many times a woman will talk herself out of being enough when really they need to step up and be brave and trust themselves and trust in their own talent. Because when you get on the other side of a scary situation where you finally accept that you are enough, it's going to be wonderful. if you want to become a better leader, just sit back and listen more. Listen more and focus on empathy and focus on diversity and getting as many voices in the room as possible and building a culture of respect and innovation. I think we all work in a very exciting industry where transformation and change in technology is creating an innovation culture across all of our organizations. Uh, we can't help but continue to change to keep up with the technologies and get them in front of our customer as soon as possible. And energy management will define the future. So when I think about who the trailblazers were in my life that were most impacted how I lead as a leader today, uh, I think of two people. One is uh, Martha Graham, who I worked for very, very early in my career. Uh, she's an American choreographer who created 198 ballets, and I worked for her when she was in her 90s, still choreographing, still leading a dance company, and what she taught me was to be brave and not be afraid to break rules, challenge the status quo, always ask questions, always look for a better, more important way to proceed. And so she made an incredible impact on my life, uh, but more incredible was my mom, who really taught me how to lead from the heart and the importance of culture, the importance of our employees, and the importance of building the kind of rapport and connections with employees that builds enduring trust. Uh, because without trust, you can't have a team that is entirely aligned and working strategically for the customer. The events of 2020 have been groundbreaking, I think, for every organization. Uh, no leader has ever had to adapt and change their culture and their company more than in the last three months. And that's a challenge. That's a challenge for every single person in the organization, particularly when the driving imperative is to keep all of your employees safe. Uh, and secondly, to do whatever you can to help your customer continue to run their companies. Uh, so it's a moment that uh, invites incredible innovation, incredible transformation and a lot of disciplined hard work. And I think everyone in the industry can, can agree, even though we've stayed home and sat behind our computer screens for the last three months, we've all never worked harder in our lives. Uh, and there's a common goal and a common purpose to continue. And I know we will. And being a part of such an essential part of the economy 
uh, has been critical for all of us. This community of women that is gathering here is so important to our industry. And if there's one thing I can say is that ladies, we need to be better represented. We need to be up there on the stage at NAED National, and we need to be supporting each other through trust, collaboration, and transparency. So let's have a great conference.